everyone and welcome back to Mariana Mass Books. My name is Mariana and today I am here with my non-fiction November TBR. I'm very excited <laughs> if you couldn't tell. So for this video I'm just going to mention the title of the books on my TBR and which prompt I am going to match them to but as you saw on my previous video I could really match these books to any prompt. This is just the way that I am choosing to interpret them at this moment. In a recent video, I mentioned that for me, a TBR is a set of prompts rather than the books. What I have to read or to be read is the prompt and not the book. So in this case, for example, what I consider the TBR are the four prompts for the readathon, and once I fulfill those four prompts, everything else is extra. So, what I like to do with this and with every readathon or reading event challenge, etc., is that I create a spreadsheet and I create a column for each prompt. So, at the top of the column, I write the prompt and then during the month or whatever time the readathon um, comprises, <laughs> during that time I keep adding books and books and books and books to uh, to the column. So any book that I see that I want to read and I feel matches one of the prompts, I will add to the respective column. That way before the month starts I already have a ton of books that I want to read and as the month goes along I keep adding to the spreadsheet, I keep adding to the column. So this spreadsheet keeps growing and in a sense I can TBR and mood read at the same time because what I will do is that when I am going to read a book, I go to a spreadsheet and see which of the tons of books that I have there I am in the mood for and that is why what I read. That is my MO for <laughs> readathons. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share to you four books that are in my column for each of the prompts. Know that I have more books than this in my spreadsheet. But for this video not to be super long, I only, I'm only i only going to talk about four books per prompt. I am not going to read all of the books because as I said, for me the TBR is four and then everything else is additional. Completing the four challenges is my main goal. With whatever book from my spreadsheet I am in the mood for. I hope that makes sense. So let's just start with the books. As I said, I'm just going to mention the titles and subtitles. Okay, so for collection, I have Thank You for Not Reading by Dubravka Ugreshik. This one is a collection of essays. No Time to Spare, Thinking About What Matters by Ursula K. Le Guin. This one is also a collection of essays. The Eye. An Insider's Memoir of Masterpieces, Money and the Magnetism, Magnetism of Art. This one is a memoir of the persons that collectors call in order to identify works of art that are originals or not. So in that way it relates to collection because it uh, relates to co art collectors. And finally an other essay collection, Meditations on Middle Earth, New Writing on the Worlds of J.R.R. Tolkien, edited by Karen Haber. Then for industry, I have The Art of Language Invention, From Horse Lords to Dark Elves, The Worlds Behind World Building by David J. Peterson. This one is a thought process way of interpreting the prompt or a train of thought. So when I think of industry, I think of construction and this book is about constructed languages. Also, you could say that David Peterson is very well known in the TV 
uh, television industry because he is the creator of the Thraki, which is one of the conlangs that are that were created for Game of Thrones. Then I have Rock Me on the Water, 1974, the year Los Angeles transformed movies, music, television, and politics by Ronald Brownstein. This one relates to industry because it talks about the entertainment film music industry. How to do nothing, resisting the attention economy by Jenny O'Dell. So it's sort of like resisting today's industry and the way that it captures our attention. And finally, Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes, who is a very well-known figure in the television industry. Then Style. For Style, I have Calder, The Conquest of Time, The Early Years, 1898 to 1940 by Jet Pearl. This one is the first volume in a two-volume biography of Alexander Calder, who was a very famous sculptor and one of my personal favorites. William Morris, A Life for Our Time by Fiona McCarthy. This one is a biography of William Morris, who, among other things, was an architect and a designer. He is very famous for his textile designs, which I think have an amazing style. Then Cleopatra Alive by Stacey Schiff. This one I related to style because I love the style of the cover. I swear this is one of my favorite covers ever. Every time I see someone talk about this book, I just marvel once again at the beauty of the cover. So yes, style. Cleopatra Alive <laughs> by Stacey Chief and the fourth and final book I'm going to mention for style is Broad Strokes, 15 Women Who Made Art and Made History in That Order by Bridget Quinn who is an art historian and I mean this is about artists so style is a pretty easy way to interpret the prompt. Finally, the final prompt is treatment and for this the four that I have. Okay, so the first one is also a train of thought kind of interpretation. I was thinking about ways that we could use the word treatment. So instead of treatment, you could interpret it as a treat. And so when I thought of treat, I thought of trick or treat. And when I thought of trick or treat, obviously it's Halloween. And when I think of Halloween, I think of witches, my um, favorite magical being to read about. <laughs> so I chose royal witches Witchcraft and the Nobility in 15th Century England by Gemma Holman. Then Notorious RBG, The Life and Times of Ruth Bader Ginsburg by Ian Carmon and Shayna Knishnik. This one, uh, obviously Ruth Bader Ginsburg has done a lot for the way that women have been treated through the years and then the final two I used one of the interpretations that Olive mentioned in her announcement video which was a book that you consider a treat so a book that you want to treat yourself to and the first one is London's number one dog walking agency by Kate McDougall. I don't know, just the title alone. I feel this, it, it makes me feel like this book would be a treat. And finally, The Dragon in the West from Ancient Myth to Modern Legend by Dan Daniel Ogden. I pre-ordered this one and I am... Um, hoping hoping it arrives in november it's supposed to arrive like in the middle of november and i really hope it does because you have no idea how much i want to read this book like how much i want to read this book so these are all of the books that i wanted to mention for the video let's say that the four i mentioned for each prompt are the top four <laughs> from the spreadsheet that i want to read for each category so maybe i will end up reading one of the top four who knows um as i said i have many others in my spreadsheet but you know, I wasn't going to mention all of them. As I said, it's an ever-growing spreadsheet and I'm going to keep adding to it through November. So it's never going to be finished. So that is my 
TBR for November. I guess you could call it a pile of possibilities of sorts, but instead of a pile, it's a file. So it's a file of possibilities in my computer. I am so excited. I can't wait for November to start. And yes, that would be all for today. Please let me know in the comments all of the things that you already know. And um, happy reading. <laughs>